action. Did, did you see what Obama did to Dwayne Wade's child? Did you see what he did to his child? See, he created the idea that said that little children could grow up to be whatever they wanted to be. Not no astronaut, not like a, a pilot or something like that. Nah, he told little children. He said, if you was born with a tallywhacker, then one day you could aspire not to have one no more. If you was born without a tally record, then he said that you one day you could aspire to have uh, to have one. Yes, this is the idea that he implanted in, in the whole entire America. And it's my personal opinion. It's my personal opinion. You can disagree if you want to disagree. I believe that President Barack Obama single handedly destroyed America with bad ideas. I believe it. Everyone got so excited because we like to play identity politics. We look at the guy and we say he looks black. He looks like me. He could talk so good. He, he speaks so well, doesn't he? That he must be on my side. But when he had the opportunity to come in, like, look, he, he had this uh, initiative and it was called My Brother's Keeper. Have you ever seen the movie New Jack City? In New Jack City, uh, Nino Brown, he looked at his, uh, his friend G Money and he grabbed G Money. And he looked at him. He said, am I my brother's keeper? And G Money was so scared, he was he was terrified and petrified because Nino was about to smoke him. And as soon as he turned around, he was telling his his friend G Money about the the dreams of building this great empire, this great drug empire. He put the gun to his head and he smoked him in the movie. That's what happened. That's what President Barack Obama did to the American man. He said, am I my brother's keeper? And then he put out the biggest nuclear weapon ever and dropped it on the American man. Boom. He said, now little boys aspire to be little girls. Go do it. This is the American dream. This, this is what came to fruition. This is what's happening right now. You see, when I was 17 years old, it was right after uh, September 11th, uh, 2001. Shortly after that, I enlisted in the United States military. I did, but I was only 17 years old. And so I required my mother and father to put their signature on the pieces of paper to say that I can go and fight and defend this nation. And they did it. And I went. That's what really happened. I needed my parents' permission to go and fight in war, right? And somehow, some way, right now, at a 14 years old, you can make a decision to change the whole rest of your life. And all I can say is, President Barack Obama, I thank you so much for destroying this great nation. And now it's the responsibility of American men to put this nation back together, to have the conversation to say that we must be responsible for our children. It's every man's goal for their children to grow up to be like a better version of themselves. That's every father's goal. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but that's what every father aspires. I'm assuming based on the excitement from Dwayne Wade, his, his child must be a reflection of him. That must be how he always wanted to be as a child or as an adult. Somehow he must be living out his fantasies through his little baby. Ain't that a dang on shame, huh? Ain't that a shame? I, I would think that he would want his young son to be like the young Flash and putting up 40 points in the NBA. No, he wants him to walk runways. How about that? <laughs> and... <laughs> And if this makes you angry, you should be angry. I am a human being fighting for humanity. I am an American man fighting for America. In order for America to exist, we have to have Americans. And in order for Americans to exist, then we have to have sex to make babies. Hey, we got to procreate. Ain't that a, ain't that a wonderful thing? <laughs> you can't run from it. You can't hide from it. You have to accept the facts of life. They used to call it the birds or the bees. And I'm asking, like, I don't want to use the line from the movie. Because if I say, am I my brother's keeper, then it's like I'm trying to set us up for me to come back and pull out a gun and just smoke the American person. And that's not my goal. My goal is to uh, help American men fight back against this cultural war, to fight back against this spiritual war. This is good versus evil. This is life versus death. For real. <laughs> if you take a man and a woman that make a baby, if you do anything else, you don't do nothing. You just have some fun. And, you know, you have a life partner, uh, you have a confidant. All that stuff is cool, man. All that's wonderful. I think that every person, every adult human being should live their life exactly how they want. I believe that. That's a real thought. I think you should live your life exactly how you want. I should. <clears throat> you see that I have stuff in my throat. I smoke, right? You can't smoke a cigarette in America till you're 18 years old. Uh-uh, can't do it. If you want to drive a car, like in some places, you have to like get a learner's permit to be 16. All these things are based on age. And for some reason, when it comes to like who I am physically as a person, the way I was born, it doesn't matter. If you too, be something else. 
And we need to attack these really terrible ideas because these really terrible ideas are destroying this great nation. And the only question I have is why did a great man with a great family and a beautiful, and just a beautiful life, why in the world would he wish destruction on American people? Why would he do that? Why would anyone promote an idea that they don't use for themselves? Why would anyone do that? Hey, I smoke and I drink and I would never encourage any person to smoke or drink. If you do do it, your leisure, uh, there are consequences. Read the read the packaging. There's a warning label on the packaging. And right now we're giving little people, little children chemicals. And there's warning label on the package. And adults, mothers and fathers are just neglecting their children. The most nastiest case of child neglect in the history of the whole entire world. All because the president said it was okay. The destruction of the American culture. Because some smooth talking African <laughs> made it possible. Get mad. Get upset. It's okay. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.